<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind today. Just had some technical difficulties, of course. So apparently I have to download another codec so it matches. Um, today's live, we are going to look at Radan 2D drafting. And um, just want to show a couple of things in here, okay? So I'm just going to open up Radan here. So you should be seeing my screen and we'll get started, right? So let me open, um, so on my screen you can see I've got a little bit of a, a product that I've made, um, a little sign with a backing plate. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, after we go over some features in Radan 2D drafting, um, just so you can see a little bit around that area, right? So, how you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Tracy, good to see you, man. And um, let me know, let me know if you can hear me, right? So, thumbs up. And leave a comment, any questions. So we'll see here. See if you can all hear me. It should should be good to go. Awesome, awesome. All right, so let's get stuck into this and um, uh, let, let's play around here, right? So with Radan 2D drafting, we can see we can create sheet metal parts and components based on just some of the little commands over here on the side. So if I go into drafting, you can see I've created uh, a file here we have drafted and created some things, right? So um, in here, you can see here's my little sub commands and menus. And this is where we can go and we can start creating. So I'm actually going to come in and I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm going to go new, uh, hit OK. I'm not going to save that, get out of there. And it should bring me to a blank screen here in Radan. So with Radan, if, if you don't have a CAD system, or even if you do have a CAD system, sometimes you'll find there's parts you want to be able to um, just create on the fly and get it sent to the laser, create a laser program and stuff like that, okay? So, and this is where you could do it instead of having to have a, another package to go into. So I'm in drafting here and you can see um, here I can create lines. So there's different kinds of lines we can um, create. So if I have a line here, I can come in here and I can do a connected line. And a connected line is just simply coming in, dropping a couple of points in here, click, make a line and go from there, right? So if I get rid of that, there's another command in here saying unconnected line. So I can make a line here, right? It doesn't join on to the next line. Now I can make another line. And I can come in and do some more, right? And then you have other features in here where you might want to um, merge two lines, um, connect corners, stuff like that. So here, here, right? Connect that. Um, and then you've got a partial delete. Okay. So that there is a little bit about the lines. But what we want to do and talk about today is, hey, I need to create a sheet metal box or some sort of type of sheet metal part, okay? So this is where you'd come in and do that. So here we have different commands. We have arcs. We can simply select what type of arc we want to do, a full circle. Um, maybe using a center and two points to create an arc, right? 
um, maybe do a fillet on a corner. Here I'm going to actually select a shape. So shapes here opens up another command menu here and I've got different shapes I can create based on the geometry. So that can quickly help you create a sheet metal part, right? So if I was to come in here and I was to create just a square or a rectangle, I can put my length in here, my height, and I can orientate it around 90, 45, what have you, and drop it in there and I'll have my square. But because we're, we're mainly using for sheet metal in, in Radan, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go rectangle with corners. You can see I have different types of corners. So maybe I wanna collect a corner here and we can make a, make a, a pan, right? So we'll go 12 and then we'll give it some corner notches. Right? So it's created a, a little box pan for me there. Now you can see I've got the, uh, it's floating around and I've got that on my mouse. I can simply get rid of that by hitting um, cancel the cursor object or selecting another command. Right? So now that I've got my sheet metal box in here, you can see I've got my sheet metal box. I can go ahead and start creating some other features in here. Maybe I want to put a hole in here and we'll just drop one in here, right? And maybe I want to come in and I can mirror it around. So I'm going to select there, there, and now I've got four holes in my sheet metal box. Okay, so these are pretty cool and nifty to commands to create to quickly create a sheet metal component without having to go into an extensive 3D package to create a 3D file then unfold it because you might want to do something on the fly, right? So that's another way to do it. Um, and in, in these different commands you've got different shapes, right? You've got an arc. How do you want to do this arc? The start, the end, um, a couple of others here, angle, radius, the width. Um, same with hexagon shapes here. You can choose different situations for that as well. So even though I've got that, there's um, a unique, I'm going to show you how I created that part before, which I showed you at the start of my uh, screen here. So there is a feature inside of Radan where I can come in here and we can go file and import a raster image. Okay. So importing a raster image is pretty good, but it really depends on the image you're trying to do. Um, when I had my laser and when I was creating vectors from images, I used to like to use TIFF because it, it leaves a file, a big file format without um, losing any of the DPIs, right? If you save it as a JPEG, it, you you lose some of the quality of that image, right? But with a TIFF file, it actually um, helps with some of the quality of the image. And I used to go with about 235 DPIs on my images, so I could change them into a vector, okay? So here I've got an image, right? So based on this image, if it's a good image and not too bad a quality, I can usually convert this over without too much work of cleaning up. So I'm going to grab this, hit open, and you can see here's a picture of the, the picture I had. I can come in here and there's some settings in here that I can change. You can go into options and you have some settings there to change. I'm actually just going to come in, you know, I want to maybe clean it up, um, connect near pixels, and then here's where I extract the edges of black regions. So it creates my um, outline or my vector, right? And I'm gonna hit okay. So now that should create that file here. Um, nope, we'll say no to that. Okay, I'm gonna leave that like that at the moment. So now you can see I've got a vector. If I was to go over into laser cutting, we should be able to come into here and I could cut that shape out. But what we want to do is I'm going to change this up a little bit by using some of the CAD features inside of Radan. 
So if I jump back into drafting, what I might do is um, I don't want to cut this out. I want to etch that. So I'm probably going to come in and change the um, line properties. So this is something I can do here inside of Radan. I don't have to take it back into another CAD package, change the options what I want to do, and then bring it back into Radan. So here I just simply come in, edit properties. I'm going to select a line type here. And I'm actually going to change this to um, an etch command, but I'm going to change it to, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll change it to this color here. Right, that way we can see it. I'm just going to highlight those. Right. You can simply click on it, it's going to change the line type. And I'll just highlight that one there. And there, right? So if I come into here, we should be go over into Radan, into the profiling. You can see, oh, I've got some open geometry somewhere, right? So that's fine, we can go back. And we can also check the geometry. By selecting this guy, we can check the geometry, it's all good. Right, so now I'm actually going to create another piece here. So I'm going to select on a shape. Okay, um, I'm actually going to select a rectangle here. So I'm going to make this a little bit 0. Uh, yeah, we'll probably do that there. Okay, right. And I'm just going to come in and do um, partially disconnect this one here. I actually probably should have done the other one. Right. Um, and we'll probably change that to black. Let me change that back there. Right. So if I come into profiling. Right, you can see there's my part. I'm going to laser cut and laser cut the other pieces out. I'm back in the drafting, and I'll just check my. Uh, see, I've got an open profile here, so you can quickly see where you've got an issue. So I'm actually going to come in here and I'm going to go there, clean that up. Right, and we should be able to check that geometry again, and we're good. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's one way to do that there. But now what if we want to create a, um, a backing plate, right? So, cause you want to be able to bolt this on here. I'm actually gonna put a couple of holes in here and we will just go find the origin, right? A quarter inch and I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna go X.25 and y2 point oops y0.25 right so there's the first hole and then we can change that and we can mirror that as well or you can simply come in hit origin select that corner right and it'll be the same minus 0.25 and this time i'm just going to go minus 0.25 there's there's my holes right so that's one way to create a, a metal product with using some of the features in radan 2d um, another another thing here we might want to do is add some text right so i don't know uh in radan it uses your uh, microsoft font library so um here's my font library here with different text i have I actually used to use urbanfonts.com and you can go there and you can download a font you want, put it in your font library 
So that way when you come in and create a text, I can choose a font in here. So if I if uh, I get rid of this, whoops, right, get rid of that, I can choose a font. I'm going to do a stencil. past it ah, there we go hit stencil and I'm going to come in here and go just type in a font um, so watch out or dogs right pretty simple so you can see there's my text there if I come in here we can change this height so we can come in here we go 20 and we can change that height I'm actually um, right I'm gonna actually change this to 18.5 and then we'll put this here and we'll drop it on the on the plate there so watch out for dogs right so now I want to be able to cut that I'm not going to be able to cut that because it's like um, just a solid block lettering there so what I need to do is sort of like in AutoCAD you would have an explode function I believe that's what it was in AutoCAD um, if you were ever using AutoCAD years ago um, there's a realize in situation I can select this and I can select the font realize and then I can give it a tolerance and I select that guy there and you can see now it's taken that and made it an outline we can check the geometry just to make sure our geometry is good and then we can go over into our laser mode and we can apply our tooling and we can cut out that lettering okay so that's a little bit about some of the features in Radan and then if you wanted to you could come back into drafting and you could create a template so let's say um, I'll save this save part and I'm going to call it dog front one okay I'm going to save that right now I want to create a backing plate for that because I want to um, have this go back on a back plate that may have a different color so I can come in here and I'm going to actually uh, do parallel copies here and I'm going to do an offset I'll select this and I can create an offset like that okay and you can see I've got now a backing plate right so I'm just going to get rid of all this here whoops And I'm going to save this out as something else. A little bit more. I think you, you can actually delete out the whole profile. Um, but there is my back plate. So I'm going to file, save part. And I'm going to put them here back. Okay, save. So there's my back plate for that, and there's my front plate. I can now laser cut that and finish it off, and then I've got it for um, future use and creating stuff. Now, just to go one step further. I'm going to make a kit so when I pull it into nesting I just have one file I want to bring in right so I'm actually going to come in here and I'm going to go new file and I'm going to say dog dog 001 and I'll change this material to cold rolled steel 
and we'll give it 060 on the thickness and select my laser, hit OK. Right, so now I've saved this part, dog001. I'm actually going to use my cursor objects here. I'm going to select that and I'm going to recall a symbol and I'm going to go dog back, open, right, and then I'm going to recall another symbol and I'm going to do dog front, open, and I'm going to select these two here and put them both together and then I'm going to go save and it's going to ask me if I want to create a kit of parts. What this help does is I can make this as a kit and I can say I need five of these and it has the right parts and quantities in my file, right? So I'm going to say yes, save it, and I'm actually going to hit save. Now, if I was to go into nesting, we can come into nesting and we can open our kit. So I'll go dog, open, right? And there's my kit with the two pieces I need. I need to build five of these. There's the material. I'm actually going to run it this way and hit OK. And it pulls both those files in separately, even though I join them as a kit. But that way it builds five of those and five of the other ones. OK. And now I can go ahead and start nesting. So today, I, that, just a couple little things to show you. And, Rad draft and drafting um, and cool things there. So if you come in here, I'll uh, we'll go over to part mode and you can see here if I go, we can open up a part. You can see I've made a, another kit here. Beware of dog. And so that's how I come about to getting those pieces, right? So now I can go ahead and cut those, make them on my laser and sell them or give them away as a gift, right? So, well, guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all starting to open up a lot of stores now. Um, but remember to be safe out there and um, I hope you all have a good good time and, and a great weekend coming up. And just for fun... I've just did another one here, last one for the day, open, right, so thanks for coming by and stopping by the Facebook Live, I'm trying to get it where I can stream it on YouTube.